Hello everyone and welcome to Cyber War. I am Victor. Today I want to do a very very short video about um, a very good tool for uh, cybersecurity in general and for bug bounty in uh, particular. We have this page on Hacker One called Hacktivity, where a lot of the programs allow some of the reports they receive and solve to be disclosed, to be published. And as you can imagine, you can use this to actually uh, read what other people are reporting. And this can help you see what's important and what's being found in the wild and what the companies pay for. Because uh, as you might know, we have like a lot of vulnerabilities we have a lot of vulnerabilities reported every day and we have a lot of vulnerabilities um, reported in previous days months and years like for example here we have like 182,000 something like that um, but of course you don't need to know all of them you just need to know the general uh, functionality and the general idea behind each ca big category now specific of everything and maybe the specifics of some very important vulnerabilities let's let's get back to our topic so uh, with activity you can actually see that with a bit of work and specific knowledge on a certain bug type you can be successful in this area without necessarily being like a very good programmer or a seasoned hacker or veteran in networking nothing like that uh, so for example let's take this report which was disclosed uh, recently 12th of august and uh, shopify paid two thousand nine hundred dollars for it almost uh, thousand dollars uh, for a very median severity 4.6 and the researcher reported that he found a link to a dashboard which was not authenticated and people can just visit it and press buttons and destroy data or edit it um, as you can imagine if you just happen to find this link and visit it that's the bug nothing else and the skills needed to find this link not very uh, evolved very advanced as you can see in addition to the domain that we already know shopifycloud.com which is in scope is public and you know about it this researcher found three more elements he found the subdomain he found the link and the parameter okay and in order to do that there are some very uh, widely available resources. I can give you an example with Try Hack Me, but of course you can just Google them. Right? For example, for subdomain enumeration, to find this part, bus dash website. Um, you have you even have a room in uh, Try Hack Me called exactly like that subdomain enumeration. Okay, and you just learn one technique, and it uses sublister. You can also use a mass or your DNS or um, Axiom in combination with Axiom scan in combination with the mass um, for that first part. Now for the second item, the file name or the URL after the subdomain, um, you also have something here. You can use either this room web enumeration which explains GoBuster and then you can just use this room Puff, which explains this tool called Fuff and for the last part the parameter you need a, a list of common parameters that would be for a wide scope of websites but specifically for this case my recommendation would be to make a custom word list for each um, 
for each big target like on the program for the Shopify target for example and there are several ways to do that and I, I just wanted to show you the one list by Tom Moon so this here is the PDF and this one here is the YouTube video where Tom Nono explains before we were using sorry for the ad where Tom Nono explains exactly what's in the PDF you can use that for all the parts of that URL like for the subdomain for the file but also for the parameters and um, there's also of course uh, checklists but you can just build on it like you you, you take checklists you of course run it on all the targets but just look what, at what they are doing and can, you can use methods like the one presented by Tom Lomlo to build your own uh, that's it for now thank you for watching and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video